Hey, what is going on everybody? It is yours truly. Let's talk about this Savior bag. Uh, what better way to talk about this than by just using it the way that it was intended to. So this is the Savior bag and it can hold up to two uh, full length, fully featured, you know, fully decked out uh, rifles. AR-15s, I put an AR-15 in here and an AK. Uh, I put an AK or two ARs and, and a pistol. I mean, this thing can hold quite a bit. And of course, it has uh, the, the molly webbing all around. So you can put, you know, molly attachments on there. How cool is that? Uh, so if you have, uh, you know, like a few pouches, you know, you can probably put some medical stuff, IDs, you know, whatever, whatever your heart desires. So let's just start opening this up and just showing you all the crazy stuff that you can do. Um, yeah, you know, fit magazines into it. We got three pouches over here at the top. Very convenient. We got uh, two small ones and then a much larger one. Um, yeah, so you know, you can get uh, put extra earplugs. Um, goodness, you know, in case you have a, you know, you're taking people out to shoot, you can maybe an, an extra magazine. And uh, yeah, you know, just more mags, more mags. Why not? The more, the merrier. If you ain't shooting, you ain't learning. That's my personal philosophy. A lot of people like to waste their money on a bunch of stupid shit. Uh, granted, if you have the money to spend, go ahead and spend it. But if not, you need to be careful. Uh, I would focus on a firearm first, at least two magazines and a bunch of ammo, and uh, dedicate some time to go train, to go learn. I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, this kind of medium, smallish type pouch at the front before we get to the meat and potatoes of this actual gun case. Uh, I've used this quite extensively. Oh, you can also secure the straps and wrap them up like a little burrito, so they don't. Uh, so it's a lot easier to hold. You get a better grip if you want to carry it like a like a suitcase or something. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm like doing this just by feeling it, but I've used this long enough. So we got more storage here. So right here on the flap, I like to put. Uh, well, let me see. I don't have anything here, but let's see what I got at the top. If you hear a bunch of noise, it's my dogs getting being all fat and rolling around. So let's see, I got a boresight, laser guide, I have tools, I have some gloves. In the event, I got to start doing some shit out in the field. Uh, oh, I got a casing. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Went out shooting, so, you know, shit happens. I got uh, microfiber cloths for my optics. If you're going to wipe down an optic, don't use your t-shirt, don't use a rag, use microfiber cloths. You don't know what you're doing if you're not, if you're wiping down with a rag, you're going to fuck up your, 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 your glass. You know, you're going to, you're going to ruin the integrity of the scope if you do that. I got, um, uh, manuals as well. Uh, that's what I recommend. Carry the manuals to optics in your range bag, your default range bag. You can do that easily with a Savior bag. Um, let me see. What else do I have? Um, this spot right here, uh, you know, you can easily, you know, two, three pistols. Uh, one end is my Glock. It's not here now. And then another end, I just put some tools. So we have, a, you know, a, a, you know, there's this ultra tough steel ratcheting socket screwdriver set. So this is, I mean, again, you never know. You never know when you're going to need these tools out in the field. Oh my God, more casings. Let's go ahead and close that up. Now let's look at the portion with the firearms and I believe the, the zippers right over here. I'm going to show you how comfortably and snug these uh, rifles are. All right, so we have one right here. So this is a full full length, uh, a carbine length rifle. Granted, it's a little on the small side because I have the compact A2 stock on this. I finally got it installed. How adorable. I'm actually getting a brand new uh, optic on this. It's going to be a primary arms, um, uh, I think it's a 2X compact optic. So uh, what divides this rifle with the other one is, is this, this, uh, this flap here. So I have my, uh, my, my pistol, my AR pistol here. And they fit comfortably, they fit snug. Um, of course, uh, right here you have a little, uh, like a, a barrel, uh, like this barrel flap. So you put the, you wedge the barrel in here, right where my left hand is. And uh, yeah, I mean, this isn't gonna fly around anywhere. Granted, it's not going anywhere anyways. Uh, very, very cool. Of course, you got straps. I mean, I didn't find these necessary, but the straps are there. Uh, they are there. Um, here's the thing. 
Here, what is the difference between like a, a bag like this that's like really cheap and, or, or no, not like a, a cheap range bag or something a little more mid-range, closer to the higher end spectrum of range bags? Uh, would I consider this high range? Uh, maybe. You know, uh, I have a really, really cheap one that I got for free and I put my, uh, my AK in there and it burned through the, the fabric. Now, uh, there are no noticeable burns on, on this bag here on either end. Yeah, I'm taking a good look. Yeah, this, uh, the integrity of this bag has held up quite a long time. Uh, I have no issues with this whatsoever. This has been a really, really wonderful bag. And I guess that would be the difference between something that's cheap and junk and then something like the Savior bag. Um, you know, because uh, the, these barrels will burn through the fabric and, and you know, it'll, it'll look unsightly. It'll look ugly. Granted, um, you probably could damage this if you just, you know, you shoot, you know, a mag and then you throw the mag, uh, throw the gun into the, the bag. That's going to be problematic. However, uh, if you wait like five, ten minutes, you should be fine. However, the cheaper ones, you got to wait quite some time or you're going to burn through it. I, I can show you pictures if you'd like. Um, but yeah, this is the Savior bag, guys. I love it. It's convenient. It's very inexpensive. Uh, also, let me go ahead and uh, set that down right here. Everything is shaking. You can also carry this thing like a backpack or, or lug it around like a backpack here. Granted, you look kind of dorky. And again, there's, there's, uh, there's some molly webbing on this. So you can probably put like a little like a, you know, a radio pouch or a cell phone holder. Um, guys, this is a great fully featured backpack. You can carry it multiple ways. You can carry multiple firearms. You have enough space for documents, for tools, for cleaning equipment, etc., etc., etc. I fully endorse the Savior bag. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link from Amazon. Uh, or, or maybe I'll just uh, go ahead and leave another DuckDuckGo link because YouTube is full of fucking soy boy fascists who hate freedom, hate America. And they don't want us to talk about this sort of stuff because um, they're pussies. Who knows? All right. Thanks for watching. Peace out.